Our technical report, MIG Shield and Gas Control and Optimization, is an excellent reference. It's available as a free PDF download on our website, netwelding.com. However, if you don't have the time to read the report, we've made it into a movie. Hope you enjoy. The first effective MIG patent is one from 1950 assigned to Air Reduction Corporation. In four of its claims, it states the shielding must be non-turbulent. Osborne Reynolds introduced the concept of smooth lamellar flow versus chaotic turbulent flow. He defined that the transition from lamellar to turbulent flow occurs at a specific velocity. In MIG welding, turbulent flow pulls air into the shielding gas stream, creating excess spatter and inferior weld quality. This graph presents data published by the Welding Institute in the UK. Using a quality MIG gun and an industrial nozzle size, turbulent flow starts at about 50 cubic feet per hour. Others report similar limit value. Turbulent flow should be avoided when MIG welding. Note MIG and TIG welding flow rate is set, not pressure. A common regulator flow gauge device can cause confusion. It sets pressure above a very small orifice that is actually setting flow rate. Knowing how our regulator flow gauge works helps provide an understanding of shielding gas control and gas waste. If a small orifice or needle valve is placed in the gas delivery hose, the flow will vary depending on the pressure upstream and downstream of the orifice. Though the math is complex, the logic is understandable. However, in a quality MIG system, the gas velocity in the small orifice or needle valve reaches the speed of sound and it cannot flow any faster, similar to why you see lightning before you hear thunder. Once that velocity is reached, downstream flow restrictions have no influence on the gas flow rate. The pressure upstream of a MIG flow control must be greater than 25 psi to achieve this speed. Using over 25 psi allows MIG shielding gas to remain at the preset flow rate despite varying restrictions occurring downstream. These restrictions are caused by spatter in the gun nozzle, spatter clogging the small gas diffuser hose, and most subtle but most important, the restrictions that occur in the small gas hose in the gun cable as it is twisted and bends and as debris accumulates since it holds the wire spiral liner. Another factor needed to provide a quality MIG gas control was defined by Stauffer in a 1982 patent. He stated quality weld starts require a controlled amount of initial gas to purge air from the weld start area and gun nozzle. He used a reservoir in his device to store that needed extra gas when welding stopped. However, requiring over 25 psi to maintain preset flow causes a problem. Every time welding stops, gas continues to flow through the needle valve or orifice and quickly fills the gas delivery hose with excess gas, up to seven times its physical volume. That stored gas blasts out of the gun nozzle at each weld start, even if just inching the wire to cut off the end. We have measured this peak flow at rates exceeding 200 cubic feet per hour. This creates very turbulent flow and wastes a great deal of gas. We invented and patented a simple solution to this excess gas causing a high flow rate gas blast at each weld start. It utilizes a custom extruded small ID large OD gas delivery hose. The system cuts the excess gas by 80 to 85 percent. It does not alter the system pressure, so preset flow rates are maintained. And as Stauffer defined, it still supplies a small amount of extra gas to quickly purge air from the weld start area. To limit the peak flow rate to a level that avoids excess turbulence, the special hose fitting on the welder wire feeder end 
contains a peak flow limiting orifice. Note, it does not control the steady state flow rate, only the high peak flow rate. It also adds to the amount of gas savings. Our patented gas saver system is very simple to use. It just replaces the existing gas delivery hose from gas flow control to welder or wire feeder. It works with any existing quality flow control device. It has no moving parts to wear or knobs to adjust. The customer tests to find how much gas can be saved. They weld thousands of truck box doors. With their standard gas delivery hose, they were able to weld 236 doors with one full cylinder of gas. Just replacing it with a gas saver system using the same welding conditions and the same steady state flow, they welded 632 doors with a full cylinder. That's a 63% gas savings. A year later, when adding 10 more MIG welders, they called and asked for 10 more of the magic hose. That gas blast at the weld start does more than waste gas. The turbulent gas stream pulls in moisture-laden air, making inferior weld starts with excess spatter. For short welds, that poor quality may last for much of the weld. Weld starts at a repair station were often being rejected due to porosity. The welder was sure the gas blast was the cause. After installing a gas saver system, the welder said these starts are much better. The chart shows the peak flow was reaching 225 CFH and was over 100 CFH for about 3 seconds. With the gas saver system, the peak flow was under 90 CFH and quickly under 50 CFH. About 6 months after the gas saver system was installed, the welder said he was experiencing very few rejects. We compared the flow control consistency of a quality flow control with a device called a surge guard that used low pressure to reduce the gas blast. We measured flow at the MIG gun nozzle and vary flow restrictions to those found in industry by looping the gun cable and blocking one of the gas diffuser ports. The results show a conventional flow meter maintained the same preset 31 CFH over the range of restrictions tested. The flows with the low pressure surge guard device varied from 16 to 37 CFH. The flow indicating pressure gauge did not show the changes. The device operated at only 9 PSI, well below the 25 PSI needed to achieve automatic flow compensation. A number of fabricators complain about the low pressure surge guard device we tested. One discarded 32 systems because of varying flow. Another found removing them solved the nagging porosity problem. Another discarded 50 because of unhappy welders. We now know why they were unhappy. Another OEM exhaust manufacturer discarded 70 low pressure systems because of flow variations. Both welders and managers are often frustrated with a conventional gas delivery hose that stores a great deal of excess gas every time welding stops and then blasts it out at each start. The gas saver system stores 80 to 85 percent less gas and limits the peak flow rate, saving gas and improving weld start quality. Low pressure devices like the surge guard tested Eliminate the key feature built into quality MIG flow control systems since the process was invented in the 1950s, automatic flow compensation. Flows vary significantly when welding, while the flow calibrated pressure gauge gives a false impression the gas flow is consistent. Mounting a simple orifice at the feeder, sized to control welding gas flow, eliminates surge but does not provide sufficient extra gas at each weld start to purge air. It's like starting the weld in air. Welders rightfully see the problem and try to compensate by increasing the steady state flow rate. This only partially helps and wastes the gas that's trying to be saved. An orifice can be mounted at the feeder that just limits peak flow rate, similar to our gas saver system while flow is controlled at the gas supply with a flow meter, regulator flow gauge, or an orifice. 
However, since the gas volume in the gas delivery hose still increases when welding stops, about the same amount of gas is wasted. It just takes longer to be expelled. This gives a false impression of gas savings. In summary, the gas saver system employs a small ID, large OD custom extruded gas delivery hose to store over 80% less gas each time welding stops. There is a peak flow limiting orifice in the welder wire feeder end limiting turbulence. The system retains pressure to compensate for the inevitable float restrictions occurring when welding. This also quickly supplies needed extra gas to purge the weld start area of moisture laden air. It has no moving parts or knobs to adjust. Most important, welders appreciate the weld start benefits of the reduced gas blast. There are well over 10,000 gas saver systems in use, eliminating waste every day, reducing the total welding gas used by typically 40 to 50 percent. As important for some users is the improvement in weld start quality. This report and the movie were prepared from numerous technical talks given throughout the USA, as well as a number of conferences overseas like the one shown here in Peru. More information is available at our website netwelding.com. Thank you.